Hi. So I finally brought out the camera. I usually forget, but I didn't forget this time. And um, I finally get more footage of me rolling with Lucy. I've rolled with her a few times. Um, I really love rolling with her. She's she's a good challenge. She's strong. She's a nice um, even match for me. I think we weigh about the same, possibly. Um, she's athletic, she's a runner, and she seems to be just as competitive as I am, so she's pretty perfect to roll with. In today's class, we're doing situational. I have to attempt to get on mount, and Lucy has to try to get on top or sweep or attack from the bottom. I think I was supposed to attack from mount as well, possibly, but I was a little confused with the instruction. I think Lucy was too, so we kind of just went rogue a few times, but that's always fun. So Lucy was able to trap one of my legs and get into a half guard position, but I was able to get out of that and get back into the side control position. So there I'm pushing her and I'm trying to stay up high to get to the mount position. So here, kind of confused about what we're supposed to do, but whatever, it's fine. So I'm able to quickly get onto mount here. And I think we both didn't want to stop, so She's trying to get out. I I fell a little, so I ended up in her guard. And we're both not stopping, you know? This is what I'm saying. I like that. We're both competitive, and we both, we both just want to roll, it seems like. <laughs> and so um, I decide I'm gonna try and um, get on top again instead of attacking. So I go for what I think is a sweep, like a hip bump sweep kind of hold on to her arm and then push her so she can't post you know and so we decide to reset and now she's on top Now Lucy almost got the mount there, but I was able to keep a hook in and and then get into like this um, half guard position. So I'm hoping to do like a like a takedown, and I'm successfully able to do it. Kind of sloppy, but you know I'm able to get on top, and that was my goal. I'm trying to stay off my back. She's almost able to pass. 
um, but I'm very adamant on keeping those knees in real close but she eventually crushes me and um, gets back into that side control position. But her goal is to get to the mount. So as long as I keep those knees up and catch her legs, she can't um, get points. Got teamed up with my punk ass little brother. Um, I also like rolling with him. It's sibling rivalry. I know he's bigger and stronger and whatnot, but um, I don't know. I like the challenge, I guess. And he doesn't show me any mercy, which is cool too. I mean, maybe, I don't know. You could probably break my ribs or something if you really wanted to, but he hasn't yet. He's made me feel like he's gonna break a rib, but he hasn't broken the rib yet. This is so funny to me. <laughs> I don't know why it looks so funny to me the way that he's raising his legs, but um, you know, he's keeping me from from getting into the mount position. And so he's, you know, pushing and using all his manpower. I'm trying to keep his back on the mat. Um, he's able to like grab my leg. He probably could have like leg locked me or some shit if he knew how to do that. Um, so here we're kind of going rogue and we decide to reset. He's hard to keep down, but I figure if I'm able to keep him down, I'll be able to keep a woman my size down a, a lot easier. So the more I train with him, the more I learn how to manage my body weight, um, the, the better I'll get, hopefully. I'm trying real hard to get his back on the mat. Based on how much he was turned on his side there, I feel like I could have like spin a little to get to the other side of his back but I decided to try to go for like some weird side mount and hope I'd be able to push him down but that was foolish because he got a knee in and he's big luckily he didn't sweep me here or anything he looks like he probably could Did I trick him there? I don't know, but I said go, and he wasn't ready. <laughs> so I got that quick ass mount, which was cool. Here I tried to go for an arm bar, but it wasn't in very good. I still had his arm, but the angle I was at, and he had one of, he had my um, left leg trapped. So then I tried to like do like a, um, like a bicep slicer, cause I had like my arm through and I put the other leg over in sort of like a triangle position with the other leg. So I'm like fighting to just get a better grip on his arm here, but time runs out. So I'm thinking I'm, you know, want to keep my knees up high so he can't just um, 
get on the mount quickly. See, making sure I'm trapping the leg, making sure I'm thinking about where, what, you know, what he would want to do. So got to be quick while also trying to get my back off the map, but he's so fucking heavy. Um, so I'm able to get my back off the map. Oh, look. But I don't think I'm able to get any takedowns or anything. He's just putting a lot of weight on me here. Um, and so I'm trying to either get in deep to, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> trying to get in, <laughs> get in um, into like a deep half and either do that same takedown I did with Lucy. Um, I kind of get scared to start framing with my legs, I mean, like to, to let go of that deep half and frame with my knees because I always feel like they're just going to smash my knees down and, and go, you know, the him being bigger and stronger. And luckily, time goes out um, before he's able to pass. You bitch ass. All right, so here's the roll. We're supposed to start on our knees, but we decide to stand up. <laughs> which, uh, you know, Daniel didn't seem to care. So I was able to do this um, sweep that we had actually been working on. It was a little sloppy, but I was still able to maintain that top position. So that's all I need, that's all I wanted. So here, we're kind of doing what we um, did in situational, you know, passing the guard. And then I decide to go for that mount that we were practicing too. And now is where I decide how I want to attack, which sometimes gives me a little anxiety because I don't want to make any mistakes. And I really just want to be able to maintain the position. I don't want to get swept. I get swept so freaking much. So I'm really working on maintaining that top pressure and, and, and you know, stabilizing myself well. So here I'm thinking, all right, I have the arm. Might as well go for an arm bar. Luckily, I have it tight, and I get a tap. Yay! I decide to try and go for her back. You know, sprawl a little bit, and then spin around. My sprawl here looks a little wonky. I'm trying to get like the seatbelt first before getting the hooks in. So I really don't want her to just like spin out from my back take. So luckily I'm able to grab her gi. And I wanted to do a collar choke, but I didn't have the choking hand in deep enough to be able to like choke her, you know, with the gi or my hand in that position. And I know but there's like a bow and arrow here. So I decide to kind of go for it. Feel like my leg, one of my legs is in the wrong, is in the wrong position. I'm not a thousand percent sure which leg it is. Like one of them has to be um, like holding on to her right arm so that she's not able to defend, but she taps. So that works for me. I kind of decided to put myself in a vulnerable position here and, and let her be the aggressor a little bit more, maybe a little bit more. I was also really tired, so, <laughs> so you know, we'll just say that I was going light on her. She does this cool thing here where she kind of like, I don't know, just like sweeps me in an in a interesting way. I don't know, I like the way that her arm was like around my head and she kind of like, she like steering wheel sweeped me. So here I just want to make sure she's not able to get to the mount.
Now here I'm pretty sure I'm turned to the wrong side. Like I get my knee in um, under her, but I feel like I'm supposed to be turned the other way on the other side. Cause here I, she, I could have um, given her my back. Luckily she didn't take it. So here she wants to attack the arm, but I'm turned to the side enough to where I can kind of escape, but I end up in her guard. Here, Lucy does a really nice um, sweep eventually. Here, she almost had an arm bar, but I was able to protect it, get back into the guard. Here, I'm like, all right, let me, you know, try and like stand up. Um, but she's holding on to my grips and stuff, and everything's kind of wonky. I want to break the grips and I'm not being aggressive enough and here she she sweeps me. Boop. And we go off frame. So that's it. That was the role for the day. Um, it was mostly just situational and then that role we had open mat but I was supposed to go out dancing with some friends. And so I had to go get dressed to do that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was interesting and entertaining in any way. I'm gonna do more videos like these where I'm kind of just narrating what it is that I'm thinking or that I think that I'm thinking and what I'm doing um, I think it'll just help my game in general and help me you know pinpoint my mistakes and I send these videos to my friends too um, I mean the friends I'm training with um, and my other friends you know to be annoying but um, I send them these videos because I'm sure it's good for them too to see you know what they're doing and where they could improve on. And before you click off the video, if you can like the video, maybe even leave me a nice comment or a mean comment, you know, whatever makes you happy. <laughs>